Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is a very unique video that I'm finally getting to record because it's something that I've gotten so many requests about and it's the dental boards and what to do in order to be super successful on this really, really important exam. And I have a very special guest with me today. This is my sister, Sarah. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah. I'm a third year dental student at UCSF. Sarah just took her dental boards about a year ago um, in July. And I took them a couple years back and so hopefully with our combined perspectives uh, we can give you the resources that we both use and actually we ended up using the same resources even though we were a couple years um, different uh, in our studies and so um, these resources are tested and tried and they are really some of the best things that you can do in order to be successful on the NBDE. Um, just of note the exam is probably going to change. It is changing I think as of next year they're combined part one and part two um, I don't know all the logistics yet but stay tuned for that so basically though the reason why we decided to still record this video is because they are going to still be testing dental anatomy anatomy microbiology biochemistry pharmacology and so those big concepts are going to be tested on this exam no matter what and the resources we give you today are about all of those different concepts and basically these are the really important um, concepts that you will learn throughout your dental education these are the didactics that are incorporated in every single program so whether you you learn them all in the first year, second year, third year, or spread out throughout your different years. Um, they will definitely cover these different topics and that's what the dental boards is going to be testing, testing whether or not you are competent in those very, very important topics. And so it really doesn't matter um, you know, when you take the exam because all of those topics you're going to have to cover at some point or another. Yeah. So let's talk about some of our most important resources um, and that is the number one resource which is your lecture notes. Your lecture notes are going to be the most important thing in the world because um, really the dental boards are testing you on all the things that you should have learned in dental school. So if you do really well in your dental classes and you uh, do well in the exams and you take them seriously, um, then you are basically setting yourself up for this NBDE eventually. Yeah, so our lecture courses were also pass-no-pass, no pass, um, structured similar to the do uh, dental boards. But with that said, I didn't just try to get a 70% um, minimum because I knew that if I was studying as hard as I could for this one exam during um, this one class that I was also helping myself for the dental boards when I had to take it. So I think studying your hardest during the school year um, when you're going to take your finals, your exams, will definitely help you in the long run. It's super important for you to remember that the dental boards are going to test the knowledge that you already have. So all the resources that we're going to give you, aside from your lecture notes, are basically going to be resources that are focused on allowing you to review all the material that you've already learned because you have to keep in mind that this dental exam is honestly so so overwhelming because of the sheer amount of information that's on here I mean all the different topics we just covered dental anatomy anatomy pharmacology it's so many really complicated topics all in one exam so it's a very um, high risk exam because it's got so much different things that you need to cover but the thing is you've already spent a couple years going through that stuff in your dental education so just Keep yourself grounded when you become very, very overwhelmed with a sheer amount of information. Just remember, this is a review. So you have it all there. You've already learned it. It's in the back of your mind. You just have to go digging for it. Um, and these review resources are allowing you to do that. And so number one resource is your lecture notes. Um, the number two resource we both agree is the uh, D, uh, the the dental decks. So those are by far the most important resource because they are so 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 well done and they have been um, you know happening for years and years and years and actually they release updated versions every single year for you to buy and so that it has all the latest information because you know dental um, the dental world is always evolving and so they are always updated every single year. You can buy them online. They have digital versions. They have card versions. And the version that we had was a uh, flashcard version, which is probably the most popular. And I absolutely love the dental decks. Yeah. 
I did too. I thought they were a great resource to use. I didn't use them until after I kind of went through a full comprehensive review of all the information and then I used the Dental Dex's questions to test my knowledge to um, differentiate content I didn't know and content I need to focus on. That's true because the uh, way that the Dental Dex are done is that they are made into kind of like flashcards. One side is a question and the other side has a bunch of uh, information, really high yield, important information regarding that topic. And that information is very uh, short and sweet. It's really all that you need to know on that topic. You can highlight, you can underline, you can take notes on that flashcard, and the front of the card is just a question. And so you really use it as a resource to review and make sure that you understand all the material you need to understand. And all of the dental decks are extremely high yield, meaning every single card is concepts that have come up on the exam over and over and over again. So going through the dental decks is really, really helpful. I know people who started studying really early for the NVD and they went through the dental tech decks twice actually. I only got to go through them once um, and I think that was even enough because they are such a good resource and so going through the dental decks one time should definitely be your goal. If you have more time, try to go through them twice because they are really just that helpful. Yeah, I did. Um, I went through them once fully and then each time I kind of got a question wrong or a topic I wanted to focus more on, I put it to the side and had made my own separate pile. But for the most part, I went through the whole deck just once. And they do have an app too. So if you like to have um, a digital copy, you could definitely use it through the app to test your knowledge. And so there are a lot of different options. The Dental Decks is definitely a must do, you guys. So that is our number one resource after your own lecture notes. Our number two resource is the ASDA release least uh, exams. This is extremely helpful because the key to this exam is doing as many questions as you possibly can get your hands on in order to prepare yourself for the exam. Just remember, there is only a finite amount of information that they can ask you about a premolar for example. So you, if you review a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of questions, then at the end of the day, you basically have reviewed all the different concepts it can possibly test you on. And a lot of the questions end up having a lot of the same themes. And so the ASDA papers were super, super helpful. And I use them more like an exam. So I would sit down, I would simulate an exam because the boards are basically a test of your stamina. It's such a long exam. And the ASDA papers could be used as like a mock exam. And I think that you use, use them similarly as well. I did. I they So the ASDA papers are from um, A through N, and I kind of started with the most latest version, N, and tried to work my way towards A. I didn't get that far, but um, I would have liked to if I had more time. I, d I think they come in about 100 questions each, so they don't actually simulate a full 400 question exam, but it was enough um, It was enough content for like one sitting period to be able to test myself, and I did kind of time myself, put my phone away, and was able to answer all the cool tried to answer all the questions in a given period of time. That's definitely key. Try to use these exams as like a mock uh, NBDE. So set aside, um, you know, the NBDE is, as it stands now, 400 questions. So we used, I used to take like 400 questions from the ASDA papers, put them together and say, today's the day that I'm doing a full mock exam and do just questions from the start to finish. And so it's a really good way to test yourself and doing questions is really key to be successful on this exam. I don't know how many times I, you know, I. I can repeat that statement in order to really um, instill how important uh, doing the uh, the questions are because you know at the end of the day you'll, you'll you'll end up seeing a lot of the same themes on your actual test so just remember that keep doing more and more and more questions as many questions as you possibly can um, for me personally the last week before the NBD all I did was questions every single day questions all day long and then if I found that I was getting a lot of dental anatomy questions wrong then I would go back to my decks or go back to another resource and read up on that topic in order to refresh. And so that's basically how I used it um, throughout my study period. I also only focus on the as the papers and those questions um, the last week of my studying because I didn't want to kind of reintroduce any new information um, while studying during that last week. I just wanted to test what I already knew and I didn't know. And that's really important. I think that's a that's a perfect study strategy. You do a lot of your review in the beginning and at the end, right before you exam, tons of questions because exam day is going to be tons of questions anyway. So it's a perfect setup for you to do well on that exam. Finally, the last resource we want to talk about is the first day for the NBDE. Um, a lot of you guys know that I talk about first aid all the time while I'm studying for my medical exam because um, first aid is very, very good resource for a lot of the medical boards. But for the dental boards, um, it's 
good resource. It's not wonderful. Um, I used it a little bit. I think Sarah used it a little bit more. Yeah, so I did read it cover to cover. I think it took about three or four days to do it. Um, it isn't as in detail as you probably want, but it's a good comprehensive overall um, review of everything you need to know. And what I did like about it was that it gave me a lot of mnemonics to be able to, um, you know, remember things or topics uh, that I didn't have before in my head so I didn't get taught that many mnemonics during lectures and so this was nice to be like oh this is a quick and easy way to remember yeah this first aid is just infamous for their mnemonics they're yeah. just so good some of them like I still remember to this day Same. Um, and so you know first aid is actually a really good resource for the reason that um, it's a good thing for you to have in order for you to go back and quickly review a topic because like I said dental decks are great however they are it made into flashcards so let's say I want to review something like the cardiovascular system or something in particular that I'm finding myself weak on, you're not going to shuffle through hundreds of cards. I, I don't I even remember how, how thousand, many, like, like a thousand cards. You're not going to shuffle through so many different cards in order to get to that specific topic. It's easy for you to go back to a book resource um, and then look for that particular topic and brush up on it really quickly or go back to your lecture notes as well. Um, and so, you know, for your lecture notes, um, that is also a really good resource, but sometimes it's going to be really hard to dig through that as well and so first aid becomes a good resource for very quick references um, but it's it's a little too simple um, in terms of the content and so I definitely wouldn't have that be my only resource it would just be a good supplemental resource to everything else right I agree so that's basically all of the resources that we use and we agree on. And honestly, you guys, it's the same resources that a ton of people use uh, years ahead of us, years after us. It just, these resources are tried and tested and everybody swears by them. So if you uh, follow these resources, uh, you will do more than great. And just remember that the uh, boards is pass fail. Uh, it is a very high pass rate. So you have a very good chance of doing well, um, but you do have your due to do your due diligence because you know, there are people that fail every single year and it is getting harder and harder every single year that's what we're told and so you just you know you have to make sure that you've you've done your part you've reviewed everything you needed to review you've done your practice questions and at the end of the day just keep yourself grounded make sure that you know you um, don't get overwhelmed with the amount of information it's all there in your head you guys you just need to review it and the other thing that I do want to say is the day of the exam you walk out of the exam feeling like you failed yeah. failed basically everyone feels that way it's totally normal we all walk out of the exam feeling like we failed don't worry if you feel that way if you do it's totally normal because um, it's just you walk out of that exam it's it's like a, an eight-hour exam it's such a long you know strenuous thing and you just want it to be over and you're so overwhelmed and you just feel like man I bombed it I mean I remember I think you called me right like when you walked out of the exam was like yeah, uh, I think I failed and I was like no, you did it. You're more than fine. Don't you worry. And so, you know, that happens. Don't be alarmed if you feel that way. You've done your part as long as you've, you know, looked at all the different resources that we've recommended and you've done a ton of questions, then, you know, you really should be prepared to take this exam and do well and pass. And all you need to do is pass. So that's it, you guys. Um, that's all that I have to say. I don't know if you have to add anything else to this exam. Um, just that take the breaks they give you during the middle of the exam, yes. give yourself a mental break, drink some water, grab yes. a snack, um, don't try to rush through the whole thing, just time is not the biggest issue on this exam, they give you no. a lot of time, so definitely use your breaks. Yes, you don't really run out of time during this exam, I definitely agree, I think most of us had a lot of time left over at the end, um, but every section, once you're finished with that section, you, go, you can't go back to it, so once the section is done, you don't want to rush through a break um, or skip the break altogether because you don't get that time back and so definitely use your breaks I agree grab a snack get rehydrated get some energy because this exam is gonna test your stamina you guys it's gonna test your patience it's gonna test your ability to sit through eight hours worth of questions and so definitely 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 take all those breaks I totally agree that's a really good point point. Um, and during the breaks you can use your phone so you yeah. could call people you know make sure that you surround yourself with a support system um, try to take the exam at the same time as everybody else. Uh, my school only let us take the exam within a two-week period so that everybody's studying at the same time because it kind of creates this like study environment, everybody's supporting each other, and I think that's really, really important. So 
that's all you guys thank you so much for watching this video please leave your comment below like this video um, let me know if you have any questions and as always if you want to follow my everyday journey in oral maxillofacial surgery please make sure that you check me out on Instagram at 15 blades and I would love to have your feedback on this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time